Let's get an update now uh, on the Spanish elections. It's a gamble uh, by the acting Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and it looks to have backfired yesterday's general election, returning fewer seats for his Socialist Party. We got uh, an early poll just six months after the last one. Also saw the virtual wipeout of one coalition partner. That leaves the path to a stable Spanish government again very uncertain. Rio Today is reporting from the capital in Madrid. Maria, so we're back to deadlock. Where do we go from here? Well, it was not a good night for the acting prime minister. He was hoping this election, the fourth election in four years, would give him a majority. But, of course, that didn't happen. In fact, he lost seats. And there is no obvious way to form a government in this country today. I want to show you, in fact, the front page of El País newspaper. That is still the most read newspaper in this country. The editorial this morning says Spain has gone back to square one. And that is what it feels this morning in Madrid. Now, the prime minister could still try to form a grand coalition with the opposition. The leader of that party yesterday night said he has no intention of joining. In fact, he wants to lead the opposition and stay in that position. Economically, of course, the big question mark is just how much is the political paralysis affecting the economy here? Spain had a pretty strong rebound after the crisis, but what you see now is that this is a country that is losing momentum, especially because governments are not able to get anything done. The country has not been able to approve a budget for two years. No meaningful full reform in about four years and frankly what you see here is that that deadlock is really translating now into government action or the lack of I should say.